In this lesson, you'll learn how to review and check out an upfront payment booking, view upfront payment transactions in a client's history, and manage upfront payments in the event of a cancellation or no-show. When an online booking is made, it will appear in yellow on the appointment book to indicate that it requires review. You'll also notice a payment icon is displayed to indicate that an upfront payment has been made. Click on the appointment to view details in the touch tip. The amount of the upfront payment is displayed here. When you've checked the details of the booking, right-click on the appointment and select Reviewed. Once the service is complete and the client is ready to be checked out at the point of sale, right-click and select Checkout. The upfront payment amount will be displayed on an additional line at the point of sale. This amount will be deducted from the client's outstanding total. To take the client's payment for the remaining amount, select the payment type and press Done. Then press End Sale to complete the transaction. All upfront payment transactions are recorded in a client's history. To view this, click on the History button. You'll then be able to view details of their upfront payment transactions. If a client who has made an upfront payment no-shows or cancels, you can charge their deposit as a cancellation fee or add the deposit to the client's account. You also have the option to charge part of the amount as a cancellation fee and add the remaining amount into their account. Right-click on the booking and press Delete. Enter a note for the cancellation. Then select the relevant reason. To view cancellations and no-shows, click on the Menu button and select Cancellations. By default, you'll see appointments that were marked as a no-show or have cancelled on the current day. Click on the date if you'd like to select a different date or a date range. The client's details are displayed here and we can see their upfront payment amount in the prepaid column. By default, the amount in the fee column will be the same as the upfront payment amount. If you want to charge the full deposit as a cancellation fee, tick the Charge Cancellation box and press Process. You would then click Yes to confirm. Or if you want to add the full deposit to the client's account, tick the Transfer to Account box and press Process. You would then click Yes to confirm. If you only want to charge part of the deposit as a cancellation fee, enter the amount you want to charge into the fee column and tick the Charge Cancellation box. Then press Process and click Yes to confirm. The remainder of the client's payment will be transferred to their account to use at their next appointment. Click Done to save and return to the appointment book. Now that you know how to manage upfront payments, you'll be able to keep track of your booking deposits and process cancellation fees when required.